Okay, once I'm done with a video in Sinalera, I render it DV to keep the maximum quality, and then I have a little script I run it to convert it into something I can burn onto a DVD. And so that is what I end up uploading to YouTube. I haven't actually rendered directly from Sinalera for YouTube since I was uh, using my old camera, which had a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. And if you're wondering what that is, well, 4 to 3 is you got two different types of videos on YouTube. You got those that fit like this in the new player, and you got those that fit like this. You gotta love those square pixels in NTSC and PAL because this is a, <clears throat> it makes things a little more complicated. Those of you running high definition through Cinelera, you don't have to worry about it. You use square pixels, which is what the computers use, you render out, you're good to go. But here we've got to choose between 4 to 3 or 16 by 9. And Budgie Breeder went ahead and did this for me and uploaded something and turns out it was 16 by 9 when it was done but it ended up displaying 4 by 3 once it was uploaded because uh, YouTube didn't get that from the header like it was looking for so there is a very easy way to fix this what you do is you just render out whatever format you want to using 16 by 9 for your uh, aspect ratio in Cinelera and then I'm going to throw over onto the side a couple of little scripts that I use. And they are in MinCoder. And here they are. Uh, they're basically the same script. The bottom one just has a little tweak thrown in in case your audio is out of sync. I haven't had that problem in a while. So what you want to do here is copy the command. and however you can get over to your place where you've rendered your video out in the command prompt Ooh, I'm sorry terminal <laughs> and you're gonna choose your file let's say okay let's say okay let's say I want to convert t2f2.mov01 to something that's going to display correctly on YouTube. So all I do here is edit, paste. There's the command. You don't really have to worry about modifying it except right here. This will give you MPEG quality. Your video.mpg. The MPG is going to be your output. So let's call this one uh, spoo.mpg. You know, like Babylon 5. Spoo, egg, spoo, 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 spoo. Um, and then your video.avi is actually going to be any video that you want to convert. In this case, we want to convert uh, t2f2.mov01. And you're going to hit enter. And it's going to start doing it. This second script here is different only by a little bit. I'll point it out to you. Okay, the difference in this script is right here where it says delay. It's after your A bit rate 190 equals 192 hyphen delay space hyphen dot 25. What this does is it puts a 25 millisecond delay on the audio because some of my old stuff was about a quarter of a second off. You can, so you can play around with that and see you know which how it's going to affect your audio sync if your audio sync gets off. But other than that those scripts you pretty much just plug in what your file is called and then by the time you're done and it finishes you have got an MPEG file that you can upload to YouTube that is going to have the correct aspect ratio. So I hope that helps you guys. And I'm working on the Tidler tutorial. So until next time, have fun.